Greetings from ThemeRex team. Today we will talk about the Booking Appointments plugin that we include in most of our best sellers. It allows you to create custom booking calendars where the customers can pick the date, suitable time slot and book your services. It is highly customizable and flexible. You can find it in a Jacqueline WordPress theme, Query, Chloe Brooks, Rumble, Plumbing, Emily and some other WordPress themes. Links are in the description below. But let's see how it works. Let's copy the page address and open it in incognito mode. This way we will test it as a brand new customer. Let's scroll down. Pick the date, for example, November the 30th and book the appointment for 10 o'clock. Here we can see our request details and we can fill in the appointment application. Let's quickly add our name, last name, email address and phone number. Then click on the Request Appointment button. OK, we've submitted the appointment request as a customer. And now we can see that the 10 o'clock slot is unavailable for other users. Now let's return to our website and see what happens from the admin side. Go to your dashboard and then Appointments. You will notice that we have a pending appointment on the menu and in our calendar as well. Let's open this date and switch to a Booking Calendar tab. Now we can see our pending appointment. We can delete it, edit it, change the date, time and the customer's information and we can approve the request. So let's do that. Click OK to confirm. Good, now it's confirmed, but we still can customize it. If we refresh the page or go to our pending appointments, we will see that there are no pending requests because we just approved the only one. In fact, we can create a new one manually by clicking on the New Appointment button. Once the appointment is approved, the customer receives the confirmation email with all the details. The email design can be approved though. I'll show you this a bit later. Now let's return to our appointments. If you need, you can always go back to your appointments and edit them. For example, you can change the time or even the date. When we save the changes, we can see that the 10 o'clock slot is available again and our appointment has moved to the second slot. Also, we can cancel the appointment. Now all our slots are again available. And if this happens, the customer receives the appointment cancellation notice. Again, the text and design can be modified. Now let's see what we can do with this plugin. The first item in the menu is Appointments. Here we can manage our appointments and calendars. We also can change the next month and manage appointments there as well. We already saw the pending item. Here we have all our pending requests. Next we have the calendars item. Currently we have only one calendar, but we can create an unlimited amount of calendars, edit them and assign them to our site managers. Currently we have only one site manager. The settings menu is the most important one. In general settings we can choose the booking type, make customers register on your site or allow guest booking. Then you can choose whether you need the customer's last name or just the first name, email address. Then whether you want to redirect the customer to another page after the request submission. You can choose the specific page for that. Then we have time slots interval if you need a time gap between them. Also you can set a buffer time so you have enough time to prepare. Then you can prevent appointments before and after specific dates. Set a cancellation buffer to prevent cancellation right before the appointment. Next you can set an appointment limit to prevent users from booking too many appointments. And you can set new appointments as pending or automatically approved. Also you have multiple display, other option and color scheme editor. Now let's go up to our time slots and choose our calendar named booking calendar. Here we have pre-made slots for this calendar. You can remove some of them if you'd like and you can create new slots. Let's add some for Saturday. I'll add a single slot, we'll give it the title yoga class, start time 9.10 am, end time 1.55 pm. And let's make 8 spaces available. Then click add time slots. Then OK. 
Good, we have created our first single slot. We still can delete it, modify it and change the number of spaces. And now I'll show you how to use the bulk option. Switch to bulk slots. Let's give it a title, CrossFit. Start time 1 p.m. End time 8 p.m. Generate slots every two hours. And let's say we have groups for eight people. Then click add time slots and the system will generate the slots for you. Let's move on to the next step, custom time slots. Here you can create your custom time slots for specific dates. Let's choose our booking calendar, start date November the 30th and the end date also November the 30th. Add a single time slot. Give it a title, let's say, dancing class, start time 7 p.m., end time 9 p.m., and let's give it four spaces. Then click Add and then OK. Nice, we've created our custom slot. Now let's move on to the next step, custom fields for booking form. Choose the calendar. As we can see, we currently have only one single text field. But we can also add new fields like paragraphs, checkboxes, radio buttons, drop downs, and more. Moving forward to the next step, emails. Here you can manage all the emails sent to your customers and to your agent. You can set an appointment reminder and create text using the matrices. Also, you can edit the user registration notification, appointment confirmation, approval, and cancellation emails. And the same for your agent. And also you can work with some specific settings like adding a logo, who should receive emails and which cases, etc. The next step is WooCommerce integration that allows you to collect funds from your customers online. Next step is calendar feeds. You can use them to upload the appointments to your Google and Apple calendars. In the next step, export. You can export your appointments to CSV file. You can sort them by dates and status. And the last step is short codes. I will show you how to use them a bit later. And the last item in our menu is what's new. Here we have detailed tutorials and news about the booked plugin. So it's quite useful. Now let's go ahead and create a new page and try to add our booking calendar there. First, let's remove the sidebar in our settings. And then scroll up and click on edit with Elementor button. There are at least three ways to add your booking calendar. Let's add the section to our page and on the left side start typing booking in the search field and then simply drag this theme rex widget to our section. Okay, good, we have it in our page. On the left side you can choose the settings layout, which calendar you want to display, current month or a specific month, as well as current year or some specific year. Now let's add another section and check the second way of adding the booking calendar. Again, start typing booking, but this time use this widget with the WordPress icon. We can give it add title. Then choose which exactly calendar to display. And then again month and year. And now the third way of adding the booking calendar. Again, add section but this time we will type in shortcode. In this widget we should paste in our shortcode. So let's go back to our dashboard, settings and the shortcodes tab. Here we can copy the shortcode. Please note this ID is a unique ID of your calendar. So if you are created several calendars, each of them will have a unique ID. Now let's paste the shortcode. Good, our calendar is here. You can also add custom attributes to your shortcode, like for example, size, large or small, or you can mention a specific month, for instance, the 12th month, which is December. Or keep a current month. Also, you can change the style from calendar view to a list view. You can learn more in the dashboard tutorials. Once done, click publish and then have a look to see the changes. 
Great, it worked just fine and all the calendars are fully functional. Hope this video was helpful. Please subscribe for more useful tutorials. See you soon.